Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Craft. I have actually been getting some work done between episodes and we now have a second tower. Ta-da! <laughs> I went back into the nether so I could grab a few more like little bits and pieces, quite a bit of quartz and stuff just to kind of gather this up. I didn't find anything particularly interesting. I have also extended the path. So if you see here, this originally only went up to this one, but it now goes all the way over here. There's a bit more of a broken wall all the way here. And I've started working on a bridge. Now, obviously, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty ruined. Quite a lot of it is down there in the water. And I've started to build uh, this rather interesting rope bridge. And this is one of the mods that I actually have on the game, which is called Macaws Bridges. Doesn't that look cool? We'll come and finish that in a bit. I just want to show you guys a couple of other things that I've been getting on with. Now, I found my book when I was <laughs> sorting out some of my things in my storage chest, which I still haven't finished. But I actually realized that I've completed all of these things that I originally wrote down. So we now have a couple of new things. So I want to do a sugarcane farm and that will probably include bamboo as well. I eventually want to do a sheep farm, but we're probably not going to tackle that today. I want to make my kitchen a little bit bigger because there's another cooking mod that we need to get exploring and we need to finish the bridge. Now you'll probably notice guys, since last episode, um, all the sugarcane has disappeared. There used to be sugarcane and like bamboo and stuff along here, but it has moved. Over here you will notice that there's a little hole in the side of the hill here. It's going to be like a little hobbit hole. I'll probably decorate the outside of it. And this is where we're going to have the sugarcane and bamboo farm. Um, I also picked up a lot of these <laughs> while I was in the nether, just kind of like going around being like, woo give me them so i put everything that we need in here um we just need to get building it really so i think we will do that first so sugarcane farms are not particularly difficult to make um you'll see what i've done down here is there's a track that's running underneath and that has got a hopper minecart on it although i've broken the rail at the end here because it's really annoyingly noisy whilst you're working and uh, what I've done down here is put a couple of hoppers. There's actually about five of them going along and then one of them pointing into this chest. So that's what's going to pick up all the stuff. Now, there is some debate in pointlessly in the Minecraft community about what you use to grow sugarcane on. It doesn't matter if you use dirt or sand. It, it literally makes no difference. OK, don't listen to anyone who tells you otherwise. Uh, dirt is absolutely fine. Now the stairs running along here is actually because I'm going to waterlog them and I also need to cut out a whole bunch of stuff at the back here so that we can get the pistons in. First of all I'm going to put a line of cobblestone which you're not actually going to see. I tend to use dirt or cobblestone in something that you're definitely not going to see. Then you get to this point and realise that you've actually put the lights where the pistons are supposed to go so uh, those need to come down. Alright so we put a decorative block here. And then you put the pistons facing this way. Then you put the lights every other one. Then you realise that the lights actually could go here. Then you eat a fish taco. More cobblestone. So much cobblestone. Then you replace the observers. Carve out a bit more space so you can have a, a nice dark scary tunnel to uh, check your machine works. More cobblestone, then some redstone. It's kind of the machine part of it done. Now the only thing is because I'm wanting to put bamboo in here, I think what I'm going to need to do is get rid of the observers where they are because they grow really tall and like poke a hole in the ceiling so that I can let them grow and then they get cut down because these will activate whenever the sugar cane grows up to here. It'll activate all of them or at least it should do. <laughs> I might need to test that. Here we are a testing. Oh, oh yes, it works. <laughs> and there we are, guys. It is pretty much done now. You can hear the little cart is whizzing away underneath there. And I've also added all the water, which was quite painful because <laughs> when you put it in here, it doesn't create like an infinite water source. I also realized that I didn't actually have any glass. So I had to go and um, unfortunately make a big dent in the sand in the front of the lake here <laughs> but uh, never mind i also made uh, a couple of doors so that i could have a door to the maintenance and because it made three i was like why not whack them in there <laughs> so now we just have to finish it off guys let's grab the sugar cane and the glass and uh, we just have to plant Ow. 
and it is finished. The reason the glass is here is because obviously whenever the piston goes forwards, it like shunts the sugar cane. <laughs> so uh, that glass is there to like stop it from going anywhere. And then the uh, little old mine cart will pick it all up. Obviously there's nothing in here. It's just the extra bamboo that I had. And uh, yeah, I've kind of decorated it, made it look quite nice, sort of matching my, my cottage theme. I did run out of brick and granite and had to go get some more, which is why there's a bit of dirt in here. It's part of the aesthetic. <laughs> But that is that done, guys. We can tick that off in the book. Job is done. Right, let's go see if we can make a bridge. So McCaw's bridges are not too difficult to make. Most of them just require slabs. And then we put some string in. Ooh, yeah. I'm not sure this is going to be enough to cross the river, but let's see how far we get. They're a little bit tricky to place because the hitbox isn't very large. So you just have to get it on there like that. Right, we're probably going to need another eight, I think. So I'm going to need some more spruce. But the idea behind this bridge is because obviously it's like considerably more ruined than the towers are. They're still pretty complete apart from a few gaps. But I was thinking eventually I want to build kind of like a fortress or something or like a really ruined tower up there. And maybe at some point they were sieged and they destroyed their own bridge to stop people from like easily getting across the river and up there. Because especially if you had like big heavy weapons, you'd want to like get it across the this this river so so perhaps they destroyed their own bridge but these towers like survived the siege somehow i don't know i just quite like making up little stories for the places that i live in right let's double up this time and try eight bridges oh i'm like one or two short never mind <laughs> it's looking pretty good though look at that what a cool little rope bridge and that just kind of makes it a lot easier even though like my boots like miraculously have depth strider on them i just pick these up from like one of those abandoned nether portal things like it's still a bit of a pain in the bum to like go across the river and what i've also done let's see if we can make the jump Wee! <laughs> I've also added like a rocky path so like I don't have to just keep like jumping whenever I come over to the mine and I've started to put a few kind of boulders around as if like maybe the castle has like collapsed onto here but uh you know maybe uh maybe me the farmer came and cleared it away so that I could use the mine. Waha! Right need more string. Oh, I forgot to show you guys between episodes I actually added an apple tree to the little orchard over here because there was like a whole bunch of apples over there and uh, one of my viewers gave me a piece of advice about how to get these so we might try that out later and see if it works. Now these are the string plants so if I pick these a bit of jute uh, that should probably do the job actually if we put them I think it's two by two yep that gives us string so we've got cotton jute and flax I think that is I don't know if there's any other string making plants but I've left like a gap there you know just in case that should do the job Woohoo! now we have like a cool rope bridge I'm gonna have to make another one to go over there hello ladies right let's have a look at McCaw's recipes now if you have just enough items all you need to do is type at and then if you start typing the name of the mod, it should show up. So McCaw's Bridges. I also have McCaw's Doors. Uh, I think I also have McCaw's Trap Doors. Yes, I do. Look at all those we have to play with. And McCaw's Windows, which I might get to using today, actually, because we need to do some stuff to the farmhouse. Or oh, do you know the, the the mod also has windowsills or parapet? Parapet? Is that what we is that what we're calling them now? Parapet? Okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's have a look at the bridge design. So yeah, I actually have kind of like rock bridges. That's really interesting. But I kind of just want to have a more standard bridge. There's these like other bridges. They're quite interesting. There's like a metal bridge as well. That'd be quite good for an industrial build, wouldn't it? Right, I'm going to choose one of these and uh, then we're going to make a nice entrance into the sugarcane farm. Lol, I'm so basic. I've just gone for the same bridge again, but I might create like a little boardwalk. Uh, the one over there is actually made of oak, so I probably want to do that here. Right, I've made the beginnings of like a very small boardwalk. I mean, obviously I could make this into like a Minecraft bridge, but the modded bridges are just more fun. Then what I'm going to do is put like some upside down stairs here so that the bridge has got something it can kind of be on get rid of this one now placing the ends is kind of funny i think you have to do it from behind yeah there we go so that you get that bit oh that's interesting i can't get onto it i have to jump huh that's interesting 
easily solve that by just making these one higher so that yeah we can walk nicely nice and smoothly nice and smoothly up onto the top there and that should be the end of the bridge nice <laughs> i just love the way that looks it's so great right i've put some more stair blocks underneath there just to kind of finish that bit off i think i might leave it as spruce you know because it's like a bit darker over here maybe this is like a little bit more weathered and uh i think next we'll decorate the entrance and kind of finish this bit off trust me guys if you ever think a build is unfinished just add bushes <laughs> i really like the way this looks i mean also chains and lights do help to finish it off nicely but that is the sugarcane farm done we should have a quick look inside. Uh, ooh, it must just have gone off. Now, unfortunately, it's not a completely lossless farm, which means occasionally I will lose one of these bamboo because they get stuck on the hitbox just there. But I mean, it's not too bad, really. I've kind of split it all up. Interesting. You should be here. Uh, I just wanted to be nicely organized. <laughs> it seems to be doing the trick, though. There's definitely more in here than I had originally, and I probably will AFK overnight and let that finish. Whilst the sugarcane farm's been going, I've actually been doing a little bit of manual fishing, which is uh, fairly tedious. I enchanted this so it's got lure on it, which isn't exactly what I wanted because I am actually after a couple of treasure items. Now the problem is the fishing farm that I made, woo, look at that. <laughs> the fishing farm that I made, which is currently packed up in this box here, um, doesn't work anymore. This is like the old style of fishing farm that just uses like a note block and stuff and was fairly cheaty by everybody's standards. Um, it doesn't give you any treasure items, though it does still give you some fishy things. What I was after was this, the saddle. Now there is a new design that you can use and it's fairly large and complicated. I don't know how much I will ever actually need that. Is that another squid just killed themselves over there? It's a little puff of death. <laughs> they just do that all the time. Um, I don't need to go fishing for them because they just die. Now, before I get too distracted by all these squid, uh, what I was going to say is that I'm not sure I'm going to build the really big fishing farm because there's not really that much that I need. And the saddle I actually got pretty quickly um, whilst I was standing here and fishing. And the reason I have that is so that we can go back into the nether and actually get ourselves a little pet strider. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the more terrifying ideas that I've had, but I really wanna see if there are any other biomes. And I know the best way to do that is by getting ourselves a little pet strider. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, the only thing I'm missing though is I need a fishing rod with a mushroom on it. But I think I can get one of them. Now I do have one back at the base, one of the little blue mushrooms. But I should be able to get one from up here pretty easily. I did see some of them growing in the Crimson Forest. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, while I was level busting, I actually managed to get myself finally, finally, a Silk Touch pick. So we are just going to pick ourselves up literally just one of these bad boys. Woohoo! Some Crimson Nilium, yes! Which means we can now start growing our own stuff, yes! Gosh, this place is so scary. These guys scare me so much, even though I know they can't do anything to me at the moment. Now, I could get this one, but I'm kind of scared that the lava is going to get me. Um, let's see if we can block off... What's that? That's something here that's stopping me. Block off this lava. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was close. That was too close. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're not getting that mushroom. Nope. Do you know what? I believe in myself. I placed that block there. Let's see if our mushroom's still there. It is champion. Now, I've had to come back and get a fishing rod, but that's okay. This should give us what we need. Hello. Ah. Uh -huh. fungus on a stick. I went back and got a lead as well because I realised if my strider with a saddle wanders off, I'm never getting it back again. <laughs> yeah, striders. Yeah, striders. Come get it. Striders. I've got the thing you want. Come to me, babies. Come this way. I realise I probably have to go to them if I want them to block me and my stick. Come on! <laughs> as lovely as you are, uh, it's not you that I want. <laughs> I want that guy! Come back! Come on, Strider-chan. You can do this. We're not naming it Strider-chan. Just saying that now. 
Yeah! A saddle for you. <gasps> yes! Yes! We got a strider! We got a strider! Oh my gosh! Right, which way to go? So that's the nether portal. Uh, indicated by the large lion. Let's go this way! This is the most fun that I've ever had <laughs> in the nether. This is literally amazing. Wee! Look at his little butt wiggling! Look at his little butt wiggle! I don't know how to get off of him though without dying. <laughs> that's that's a maybe a problem. Oh, you can make them go faster. This boat has legs! <laughs> what an achievement. <laughs> what an achievement. Oh, oh, uh, looks like we found a basalt delta. That's good, because we can get some blackstone. Nice! Keep going, Strider San. I've given him a more respectable name now. <laughs> okay, interesting. I'm just gonna follow this wall around. Oh, what's this? What's this? It looks like a bastion. Why has it got a hoglet in it? It shouldn't have a hoglet in it. Hmm. I may need to fiddle with some of my parameters, some of my tweaks. All right, I'm gonna head back. I know there's a bastion here now, but I ain't going in there if there's anything dangerous. No sorry. <laughs> Not a chance. Luckily at the moment I am safely in the lava. <laughs> Away from any horrible pigs. Goodbye piggies. I think my stride is getting tired. <laughs> he needs a rest. And there we are. My, my trick of following the walls around has helped me find this place again. I'm gonna get right up on there. And then my friend, I am going to be leading you to this post. All right, and get off. And we'll come here and there. Yay! Thank you, my strider friend. I'll take this out of my hand so that you'll stop. <laughs> you'll go back in the lava where you are the most happy. Oh, well, that was pretty fruitful. A scary bastion, but still no blue forest. However, we did get the Crimson Nylium, which means we could probably make a start on a little kind of crimson farm. Oh, while I'm passing by, guys, um, someone called, I think it's Tornado Tube, suggested that we name these Coco and Eggnog, which I thought was hilarious. So we have Coco, Eggnog, uh, Cinnamon, and Nutmeg. <laughs> what beautiful llamas! Right, so if we just make a quick and dirty little farm, I think if we do this, like that, and then if I grab some bone meal from my little bone meal machine, and we do this, uh, this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <gasps> Whoa, exciting. <gasps> Excellent. I think I can just break these. Yep, okay. And then we get more, and we get mushrooms. <gasps> yeah, look at all the things. Oh, I'm so glad I made a bone meal farm. <laughs> all the things. I think occasionally you do get a blue mushroom as well, which would be very, yes, look at that. Just as I said it. Oh, very useful. <gasps> I'm so happy. I don't think that we can grow the trees though. I mean, we can give it a try. Uh, yep, yeah, nope. <laughs> Absolutely nothing is happening. But if we do it with the crimson one. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that works. Whee! <laughs> Well, there we are, guys. Looks like we've got ourselves a little crimson farm where we can get all the crimson things. We just we still haven't got the blue one, though. Right, well, we're almost at the end of the episode, guys. Um, I actually found a few new plants when I was sorting out my chest storage, which I still need to finish. And one of them was some blueberries, which is really cool, and also some rice. I thought we'll pick some of the fruits from our new fruit trees in the orchard and let's go see what we can make with these. I think the most obvious thing is going to be some form of pie. So let's get these out and see what we can do. Yeah, definitely make an apple pie. Let's see if it works with peach as well. Oh yeah, peach pie. And then we can make a cherry pie and probably a blueberry pie. Look at that, a rainbow of pies. Now let's have a look at just enough items and see what we can do with rice. Oh, rice crispy bars! <laughs> That's fantastic! Oh, I think I can do this actually. Um, beans and rice. Does it need to be pork though? That might be an issue. It actually makes bread. Rice bread. Delicious rice bread. Actually like that is like a Chinese bread. Like mian bao is, is made with rice flour I'm pretty sure. Ooh, chimichangas! Mmm! Not sure if I can make that. Vinegar. 
and paper. <laughs> rice is one of those things you can make paper with. Hilarious. I've gone for the rice crispy bar because that is pretty easily. All you do is you put sugar in here, that makes the marshmallows and then you stick the rice in and delicious. We've made a lot of unhealthy things today. Sadly, I can't make the beans and rice just yet because I don't actually have any pork. And, and to make the vegan pork, the tofu pork, we actually need maple syrup. Let's go slightly healthier and I figured out how to make yogurt and then what you do weirdly enough is you get a cutting board. I suppose you're supposed to be cutting the fruit up. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can do it with all of them. We should be able to. Oh, look at all this yogurt. So much yogurt. Can we make apple as well? Yes, we can. Oh, delicious. And then last but not least, let's use some of that snow we've had and we can have a blueberry smoothie. Blueberries are meant to be very good for you, so I, I don't feel too bad <laughs> about all of these nice treats that we've made. Right, I'm gonna start shoveling all this snow out here, which I should have done ages ago, so that I can work myself up an appetite and not destroy my garden, uh, so that I can eat one of these. Let's go for the blueberry smoothie. Ooh, let me eat. Delicious. And I'm afraid, guys, that is all we've got time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the sugarcane farm and the little adventure in the nether. If you guys have any ideas for what we should name Stratachan, <laughs> that's not his name, um, then, <laughs> you know, suggest them in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.